In the wake of Jacinda Ardern's superficial treatment of her, Megan is reticent to speak out in the latest Netflix installment. I do like to say hello to my pals. Here on Royal Family News Update, we have the latest on the hypocritical royal couple, Harry and Meghan Markle. Prime Minister of New Zealand Jacinda Ardern has distanced herself from Harry and Meghan by saying that her appearance in a new Netflix series on inspiring leaders is unrelated to the Sussexes. Jacinda Ardern said in a statement released today that she did not know Meghan and Harry were involved when she agreed to appear in their new Netflix documentary series. A celebration of inspiring leaders from throughout history is planned for Live to Lead. Yesterday's trailer featured Miss Ardern, the leader of a country where Charles III is the monarch. Archwell, the production company owned by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, worked with Blackwell Ruth, a New Zealand company, on the seven-part documentary. In response to media inquiries, Miss Ardern's office released a statement denying that Harry and Meghan's involvement in the film in any way influenced her decision to get engaged. In early March of 2019, the Mandela Foundation approached the Prime Minister about taking part in a project to provide easily accessible materials on essential leadership qualities aimed at aspiring young leaders around the world. The project is based on an hour-long interview. Short films, audiobooks, and printed and digital books were initially mentioned as potential results. The date of this conversation is November 8, 2019. In March of 2020, a short book titled Jacinda Ardern was released based on the conversation. Aside from Curry, other interviewees who had pieces published included the late U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, feminist activist Gloria Steinem, climate activist Greta Thunberg, and NBA star Stephen Curry. In March 2021, the Nelson Mandela Foundation informed the Prime Minister's office that they had struck a deal with Netflix to broadcast the series of interviews, which included the Prime Minister's 2019 interview. In May of this year, it was announced to the Prime Minister's office that Harry and Meghan would be the stars of the new series. Since the interview was recorded approximately 2.5 years ago and the Mandela Foundation already had permission to use it, they have been the only point of contact. During the royal couple's 2018 visit to New Zealand, Meghan and Miss Arden began forming a friendship. Meghan was pregnant at the time of the trip, and Miss Arden remarked how admirable she found her to be throughout the ordeal. The fatigue of pregnancy is real, but she did an amazing job of giving her all that year, she said. I am glad to have met someone as wonderful as her. Finding Freedom claims that after the birth of her son Archie, Miss Ardern sent a flower arrangement to Markle. The Prime Minister has a lot of support from the left, but she's been under fire lately for making moves that some see as nanny-like, like her promise to make smoking illegal by 2025. Last week, it came to light that she had made derogatory comments about a prominent opposition figure and she came under heavy fire as a result. The December 31st premiere of the television documentary Live to Lead will feature other notables, such as the late U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Greta Thunberg, a young activist for the environment, and Gloria Steinem, a friend of Meghan's, are also featured. Harry and Meghan, dressed identically in black against a white background, are featured prominently in a brand new two-minute series teaser that was released yesterday. It was Nelson Mandela, Harry says, who inspired the documentary, before quoting the late South African leader. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we've lived. The value of our lives will be measured by the impact we have had on the lives of others, Megan finishes the quote for him. People who have made the tough choice to fight for change and become leaders, as Harry puts it, and his wife adds. At last, the prince continues, and for inspiring the rest of us to live, to lead. The Nelson Mandela Foundation and the Sussex's Archwell Productions Company, which has a multi-million dollar partnership with the streaming behemoth, collaborated on its production. This follows Meghan and Harry's six-part Netflix documentary about their breakup with the royal family and subsequent move to the United States. Recently, it was revealed that Lucy Fraser, a friend of Meghan's who was interviewed for the series and who warned of evil powers inside the palace, used to go by the name Lucy Meadmore, a public relations expert.
She told the crowd that Megan was being targeted by palace internals, but didn't explain how she knew this. She also claimed that the British media break into accounts and go through waste bins, but she offered no proof. The identity of this woman baffled many viewers of the Netflix series. Once known as Lucy Meadmore, Ms. Fraser was hired by Meghan to promote her defunct lifestyle magazine The Tig. According to records maintained by Companies House, she served as director of two defunct public relations firms, Project Smooth Limited and L-E-R-M-E-A-D-M-O-R-E. -E -E. We don't know if Fraser is her married name or a pseudonym for the movie. It is speculated that she first met Meghan in 2014, when the latter asked for help with her blog writing. In 2016, she was seen having a single girl summer in Europe with Meghan, with the two of them lounging on a plush hotel bed and sipping cocktails like Campari soda and Aperol spritz. Ms. Fraser worked for a number of PR firms, including Freud, before deciding to start her own company. Priyanka Chopra and Abigail Spencer were also spotted accompanying her as she entered St. George Chapel for Harry and Meghan's wedding. There was some mystery surrounding the origins of the Sussexes' Live to Lead interview series until last night, when it was revealed that the announcement had been made in July of this year. The Nelson Mandela Foundation and Blackwell Ruth Publishers have announced that they will be publishing a five-year series on leadership titled I Know This to Be True in which they will interview prominent individuals from around the world about their own leadership journeys. This point in time was celebrated as the start of the project. Interviews with Miss Steinem, Mrs. Bader Ginsburg, and Miss Thunberg were revealed to have already been filmed. The original concept was to launch a worldwide online initiative selling and distributing movies and books to benefit the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Both Harry and Meghan were still working as members of the royal family. They waited until after the September 2020 death of Mrs. Bader Ginsburg to announce their Netflix deal. The timing of their involvement with the project suggests that the couple and their Archwell Productions team came in afterward. The partnership with streaming giant Netflix is the cornerstone of the couple's new life of commercial independence in the United States, and is estimated to be worth millions of dollars. Harry will have a new Invictus Games-related project out in 2019. Cartoon series Pearl, which Meghan created to celebrate the lives of influential women throughout history, has been axed. Do you agree or disagree with Jacinda Ardern's treatment of Harry and Meghan? Please share your opinions in the space provided below. Hopefully, you've learned something from this video. In case you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, spread the word, and sign up for updates. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this newsletter and hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.